Welcome back to Mackenzie and Company. This is the first video game ever made by Her Interactive. So, babe, who's it going to be? Well, I had everybody vote, and they picked James. James is the handsome boy that I will try to date. I like Brett's eyes, and Steven is so suave, but James is such a mystery. And he is so mysterious, he gets his own CD. So let me switch CDs. <laughs> Even though James is our bachelor of choice, there is another boy who is important in the storyline. We'll see him here at the truck. He is obsessed with cows. Wendell Sperber. Please, not Wendell Sperber. Moo! Moo! He's totally whack. Let's get out of here. Why should we get a milkshake? It'll look pretty good. I don't know. That Wendell guy is pretty whack. Uh, we're out of here. But for the sake of completion, let's talk to the cow guy. Hey, what's shaking? Care for a malt? Uh, the mood juice is on me. No thanks, Wendell. But have you seen James right down? I sort of figured you weren't looking for me. Kimberly, why would anybody go out with me? I'm a nice guy. They won't go out with you because you're crazy. You're a bovine, Wendell. It's weird. People don't live, eat, and breed cow. Well... At least cows are nicer than people. Oh no, we hurt his cow feelings. Let's try that again. Kimberly, why would anybody go out with me? I'm a nice guy. Yeah, Wendell, but nice guys finish last. That's just it, Wendell. You're too nice. You're too conservative. Get wild. I do play me kazoo. Thanks, Kim. Uh, if you're looking for James, I just saw him over on his bike with his buddies. Hmm, okay. James is by the bikes. It's him! We're talking major babe alert. Let me see. I'm going to say I can't wait to meet him. This is so intense. Oh, I can't wait to meet him. Just remember, Kimmy, guys are guys. Just be yourself. James is cool. He gave me a ride on his bike once. I could scam you an induction for a price. I say you comment on that gorgeous jacket he's wearing. Trade biker chic. Lame. Comment on his bike. And believe it or not, that's actually a fake choice. Because pretty much the exact same thing happens no matter which option you pick. So let's go with I'm so nervous this time. My stomach just executed a full twitching backflip. Just remember, Kimmy, guys are guys. Just be yourself. James is cool. He gave me a ride on his bike once. I could scam you an introduction for a price. I say you comment on that gorgeous jacket he's wearing. Trade biker chic. Lame. Comment on his bike. Hmm, so we have three friends, which means we have three options. I think I'll go through all of them. Let's start with an introduction from Alex. Bottom line, Kim. What do I get? Nice sunglasses! And he'll agree whether you give him a free movie trip or a CD. I'll buy you a CD. Deal. Do not try to sit home, Kim. I am a trained professional. What's he saying? What's he saying to him? Oh, I hope he doesn't blow it. I can't believe it. Blow? Oh. So, uh, your mom tells me you want to know what kind of shampoo I use. Any other questions? Like, uh, which soap removes axle grease best? Or what's my favorite tattoo? 
Alex, you asked him about his shampoo? What? No, really. Um, she, our friend Trish, is looking for well, a model for the yearbook ad and, well, <laughs> with really clean hair. I'm not into games. I'll see you later. No! Obviously talking about shampoo is a failure, so change the subject immediately. Yeah, like how can we never go to class? I'm not into Zoe's theories. I like what I like. I'm just not into why. Maybe I'll go money just to mess with him. Now let's try talking about the bike. That's a beautiful bike. Thanks. Built it myself. What's the deal, Mary the Retton? You're not into bikes. Hmm, sounds like he knows I'm great at gymnastics. You know I'm on the gymnastics team? Yeah, I've seen you at school. When I go. Just because I cut class doesn't mean I miss the extra credit. Not bad. Needs a little work, but not bad at all. I think we made a good choice. A better choice than pretending we actually do know about bicycles. I love bikes. I'm just not an expert. And FYI, my name is Kim. Well, Kim, then I think you need some extra tutoring. I'll catch you later. That went real well. Next time I'll wear a black jacket. And let's finish with Elizabeth talking about that jacket. Hey, great jacket. Where'd you get it? A guy named Lifter. I don't think he has another. Hey, aren't you in that class with that joke, Mr. Zoe? I can't deal. You can't deal? Well, if you're stupid, I could tutor you. I could always tutor you. Yeah, that means I have to go to school. I'm not exactly Mr. Perfect Attendance. I'll think about it. I told you it would work. You made a definite impact. That seemed like a good choice. Let's try the trumpet playing. This trumpet playing is worse than fingernails on a chalkboard. You should cut. Works for me. Ooh, bad boy. Cutting class. Can the same sort of thing happens when you say the teacher has brutal tests. His tests are brutal. I wish I could ditch Zoe's symphony of horrors. You should cut. Works for me. I think I'll go with the tutoring I option. Tutor you. That definitely yeah. seemed like the best option yeah, out of all school. the ones available. I'm not exactly Mr. Perfect Attendance. I'll think about it. After you talk to James yeah. and Wendell, you get a little scene with your friend about needing to go back a home. Definite impact. Kim, it's almost six. You're dead if we don't get home fast. So you can stick around or go back home. If you choose to stick around, you get a game over sequence. Honey, I needed the car by six. You're really late. I'm sorry, but no more car privileges until you learn to be more responsible. Oh no, Dad! But no! So obviously, we should go home right away. Kimmy, it wasn't a disaster. You've got him right where you want him. You're under his skin. All you have to do is close the deal on Monday. What have you got to wear that's devastating? Um, I really don't have anything fancy. Oh, nothing special. I want him to be in this for the right reasons. What? Haven't you ever heard the saying, clothes make the man? Well, like it or not, great clothes do make a difference. Okay, okay, I gotta run. Do you need any help here? Um, not really. Okay, call me when you're ready for school. We can strategize on the way. Ciao, babe. See you later. What have you got to wear that's devastating? Alternately, you could wear something dangerous. 
something dangerous. You're gonna blow his cool completely in that. Oh, hey, I gotta go. I promised the parents I'd cook for them tonight, and I still have to swing by Mario's to pick it up. Do you need any help here? Yes, I do need help. What is going on? Okay, don't forget to check your phone messages and your bulletin board. Trey and Porton. You can use the phone, the computer, and the radio. If you want to make a call, use speed dial or check your address book. Don't forget, you have homework, chores, and work to deal with. Oh, and of course, you have your journal to keep you up to date on everything. Got it? Ciao, Bella. Oh, on second thought, Kim, you call me when you're ready for school. My mom's driving, so be ready or she'll get all horn happy. Okay, way to throw a ton of information at me at the very end of the video, friend. Friend whose name I've already forgotten.